What are you doing? It's not what I'm doing. It's what the Freys were doing. When was the last time you saw them reading? Um, never? Exactly. They were just poring over those books, which are all about time-related... That sounds like trouble. The Freys aren't very good. Right. That would be a... I don't know. I thought those didn't exist. Something like that. But more importantly, of what concern are... Oh. Hello, Professor. Not a... Ah, yes. I ran into those two in the corridor. It seems they had a minor mishap with a swell. Why they thought traveling back in time to undo it would be less trouble than a simple deflating draft. Rest assured, I've set them straight. The twins will not be trying to reinvent the time. Why are they so dangerous? Time turners. When used properly, time turners are actually quite safe. It's when a witch or wizard ignores the rules and misuses a time turner that the results can... Which is why the Ministry of Magic had very strict regulations around who... Have you ever seen one? I have. In fact, one of our very own students was approved to use a time turner a few years ago. A brilliant young witch who you might be familiar with. Hermione... That sounds like a good story. Would you like to hear it? Time turners are amazing. 
I'd use one to go back and make sure I didn't say Wolf Spine instead of Wolf Spain in potions class last week. So embarrassing. There are limits to how far back you can travel with a time turner, silly. More importantly, there's always a better way to solve a problem than mucking about with time. Now, if you two don't mind getting those books back to the library, I'll see you at our next... so long. We've been waiting since dinner. Sorry, just needed a little extra wand work. That's a great idea. Got to be prepared. I've no clue how I'd handle myself in a duel. I'd probably get disarmed and hung upside down too. How? Daniel, wait. He didn't mean anything by it. Come back. What did I do? <sighs> Daniel's still a bit sore about, well... All the things you said just now. He's mad that he got bested by Cassandra and Colby Frey. It was Fisher Frey. How on earth do you tell them apart? Uh, because one of them smells worse? <laughs> Fisher's hair is parted slightly to the left. And he smells worse. A painter has to pay attention to the detail of her subjects. Speaking of paintings, where's Gosmer? Hello, my friends! Gossima, uh, where are you? I'm in a dark cavern. It must be enormous. There's nothing but black as far as the eye can see. You must have ventured far to find me. I hope it wasn't too dangerous. You're behind a bookshelf. I am? That's fantastic! I love to read! Uh, did you know Gilderoy Lockhart's autobiography, Magical Me, contains a brand new forward by Gilderoy Lockhart? Take a look and see! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you out of there. Weird. Someone didn't want that to move. It's probably enchanted to keep us from rearranging the furniture. Guess we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. A hand, anyone? Perhaps with a little better leverage. Copy retractum! Look out! Biting pixies! Atmosphere charm. Bombastic bomb! Look at me! Don't even fall! Acromantula Ben. Incendio. Fuck him. A pug no. Atmosphere charm. Must be why they secured the bookshelf in place. Thanks so much, Kevin. I didn't know they were there. At least we freed Gossamer. You rescued me. Again. Of course we did. We'd hate to lose you, Gossamer. We missed you over the summer. And it's so lovely that you came back. You never know if your friends are going to return. Even to say hello. We'll always come back. We promise. What can I do for you? We're looking for a map that leads to a rare magical artifact. Hagrid said that one of the paintings might know where to find it. Hmm, I've never heard of this. I thought you knew everything about the paintings in Hogwarts. 
mostly everything. I can only sniff around so much. I only have one nose, I think. Perhaps the portraits in the dungeons would know something. The dungeons? We have to find the map. Besides, nothing's down there that can hurt us, right? I don't think so, but it can be quite scary. Between the creepy noises and the total darkness and the ghosts? Why don't you let me investigate? We'll go and check it out. It's our assignment, after all. Besides, how scary can a dungeon in a school be? Uh, we will? Maybe one of us should stay on the lookout up here. I nominate... me. If we stick together, there's nothing to be afraid of. That's the spirit. Let's go. Well, I'll stand guard here, in case you need me. Lumos. Are we going the right way? I don't see any paintings, and this hallway seems to go on forever. Um, I'm not sure we're in a hallway anymore. Why's that? Where'd the walls go? <laughs> Surprise! Now, where's your invitation? You need an invitation to poke around the dungeon? No! You need an invitation to attend my Death Day party, of course. If you haven't heard, the Death Day parties of Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington are a thing to behold. This time, it's a surprise party. I'm surprising all the guests. <laughs> How is it a surprise if you sent out invitations? Oh, right. Uh, that does seem to be a minor oversight on my part. Well, good thing the party's still not for a few weeks, eh? <laughs> Sir Nicholas, I'm afraid we don't have an invitation to your party, but we would love to celebrate with you, if you'll have us, of course. After much consideration, I've decided that you and your friends can attend the party on one condition. What's that? I insist you come as my honored guests. Now, I'll need your still very much attached head sizes to make your party hats. That sounds wonderful. I can't wait. I'm just glad I ran into you before the doorman saw you. The doorman? Oh, yeah, yes. This nasty troll I hired to keep the riffraff out. Not very bright, though. If anyone were to crash the party, he's under strict orders to attack when I give the signal. I simply say the word security, and he comes charging right in. But no need to worry about that now. Um, you just said the word. What word? Oh, that word! Oopsie! Atmosphere charm. A pug no! Acromantula venom. You want... Don't even bother! Fantastic bomb! Incendio! He told him no commotion! Chill up, Venom. Atmosphere charm. <sighs> Trolls, no problem. Robin, look out! No commotion with me! Good timing, Kevin. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
You followed us down here all by yourself? I was worried about all of you. And I didn't particularly like being left alone upstairs. How disappointing. Now who's going to watch the door? Uh, Sir Nicholas, while you're getting ready for the party, we'd love to look at the decorations, particularly the paintings down here in the dungeon. That's a good idea. We need to make sure all the paintings are on the list. Carry on, I must see to the punch. <laughs> Not a moment to waste. How are we going to find the right painting? It's not like we can just shout out. Has anyone seen a map leading to a secret treasure? Oh dear. I've never heard of a map. Or have I? Hmm. Oh, a lady never tells. Are you the new house elves? Oh no. You're too clothed. Who the heck are you, lady? It's a lady, Apprentice Paget Goggins, and I insist you take me back to the Grand Staircase. You'll have to excuse her. Her house burned down over a century ago. Her portrait was the only thing that wasn't scorched. She was moved to Hogwarts after the fire, and promptly stashed down here, because she kept ordering wizards to get her tea. That's such a sad story. She must have lost people she loved. Miss Lady... Do you know about a map? It leads to a family heirloom that was lost. We'd like to find it and give it back. What about our homework? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. If there was anything your family left you, or anything left at all, you'd want it back, right? Yes. Yes, I would. It's okay. I lost someone, too. There were so many people who cared for me. People who would dust me every day and wipe smudges off my frame. Is she talking about her servants again? I know about the map. I heard about it after they moved me to this dreadful locale. I can help you find it. But first, I insist that you restore me to greatness. I want to go back <sighs> to the Grand Staircase. I'm not sure we can just take you. Sir Nicholas! Hello, guests. Oh, I see you found her. Always complaining about the noise, that one. I dread to know what she'll do when the party starts. Sir Nicholas, can we... Can you take her? Why, that would be splendid. Yes, away you go. And do make sure you're back before the party starts. <laughs> This is more like it. A home that suits my stature. Wonderful. Now, what can you tell us about the map? Nothing, I'm afraid. Because I've never seen it. But I know who has. My old neighbors talked about the map. So, where are these old neighbors of yours? Sadly, they moved away during the Battle of Hogwarts. One left and never bothered to write. The other established a residence in a rather bad neighborhood. Can you describe this bad neighborhood? It's rather dreary. Whenever he comes to call, he harps on and on about a dark, secret chamber full of snake carvings. He would very much like to move, I think to be closer to me, but a lady mustn't be too presumptuous. Now, if you excuse me, all of this travel and talk has put me right out. I bid you adieu, children. Great. Now we're right back where we started. I think I've heard of that secret chamber. I've got an art book that talks all about the paintings and decorations at Hogwarts. There's one chamber that has a rather bold snake motif. Although that's just the rumor. The place is nearly impossible to find and even more impossible to enter. The Chamber of Secrets.